Hello there, uh, in this short lesson I'd like to share some info on how to uh, transfer attributes uh, from Houdini to Maya and uh, color sets. Uh, there's some situation when you have a complex geometry and you have some custom attributes created in Houdini and you'd like to use it in Maya during your shading or rendering process and also there is a problem when you are trying uh, to transfer uh, geometry with uh, changing topology and vertex counts um, especially uh, it's obvious when you use um, um, when you have a motion blur uh, fast moving object uh, which are actually faced in recent projects uh, so um, Let's actually uh, see uh, how would you do this and create um, um, this type of scenario. So uh, I have a um, geometry that I uh, downloaded from the web, it's free. Um, I'll add some uh, custom attributes, let's say. Uh, Um, this curvature swap will create uh, maybe two types of attributes concavity and convexity. Um, also, I'd like to have uh, some animation, let's say in 20 frames. Okay, let's say here yeah, animation. Um, also, I will delete this color. Um, so here's a uh, concave attribute and here's a convex attribute convex is not that obvious so we just uh, um, convexity convexity And I'll export back to convexity. I'll also um, compute the velocity. Uh, compute velocity. So we have now concavity, convexity, and velocity that we need just to see convexity and velocity. Um, also, we'll convert our geometry to BDB and back to geometry. This way we'll have a uh, changing topology of our geometry. So, uh, point one. We'll transfer attributes. Oh, here. Polygon. And 
let's cache. Okay, so now we have a animated uh, constantly changing topology and uh, uh, attributes that we need. Um, and we want to transfer that to my Ranged channels. Yeah. Let me export that and just to see like what we have uh, as a result. If uh, I, for example, try to import it, uh, so I made a mistake. Here's our geometry and uh, drop light. Right to And I will switch our motion blur on uh, one. Uh, there is a uh, complaint from my like uh, There's a complaint from my like uh, there is a like uh, uh, changing topology uh, problem, so it can't compute the motion blur. And also, um, we can try just to add velocity. Still, um, Maya doesn't see. Um, and another problem, like color set, we don't have any color set. So, um, to solve this uh, issue, you have to uh, rename all your attributes and uh, make them uh, color type. Uh, tree tree vector color type attribute and export them on the vertex level not the point level so to do this um, let add a rock OV 
it's a tree floor paper and it's the raw city and it's uh, con concavity and con convexity uh, now we need to uh, convert them to uh, vectors and also the name thanks Okay, now we have a uh, concave tree floor, uh, convex tree floor, and velocity tree floor. Now I have to uh, make them type, uh, color type attribute. So we go set uh, tree type info. The first input point level uh, attribute name so let's say the city that we have and type uh, color thing convex okay so now we have those uh, concave attribute tree, uh, tree vector float, but the color type and velocity also. And the last thing that we have to do is transfer them uh, to the vertex level. So we do an attribute promote point vertex and Convex, concave, and velocity. Okay, and now we'll do a new scene. And same as here. Okay, um, now um, we have um, all those attributes exported as a color set uh, in Maya. So if I just, okay, blend. Zero in the viewport. Let's add a motion blur. And if you're using Arnold, in this case, you have to type which channel color set you'd like to use. Okay, now it's working. A little smaller, point one. Uh, 
tâche. Yeah, so here you have um, uh, motion vectors that you have exported. Also, if you'd like to use the rest of the color cells, you need to, uh, if it's Arnold render, you need to put export vertex colors. Um, I noticed that if uh, it is VRA or if you're using uh, not the Alembic cache but GPU cache, uh, I think. Um, you may read those vertex attributes as well, but um, um, if you're using Alembic, so this is the way um, you can actually export um, your attributes as a color set and use it. Now um, I activated this vertex color and let me add the um, uh, standard. I'll turn off vertex, vertex blur, uh, motion blur for now, just to uh, run things a little faster. Now the color, let me add um, blend colors. Let's say I'd like to blend. Here's my blender and I'll use um, Arnold user data color. And it was concave. Um, uh, now it's using uh, alpha channel we want to use uh, one of the RGB channels so I need to refresh so here we have uh, our concave data or let's say convex yes now everything work, works properly and we'll switch on motion blur So um, this way um, you can actually transfer your attributes and uh, use them as a color sets in Maya. Well, this is all that I'd like to share in this lesson. I hope the information was useful. Goodbye.